Hello, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings and I'm doing a little PSA, public service announcement. Uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up about some scams that are going on and you might have been tempted to participate. Well, what I wanna talk about is those ads on Facebook. Uh, just to give you a heads up, there's a lot of ads out there that show things that are too good to be true. You think they're too good to be true? They probably are. I got scammed by one of them and I'm not sitting down lightly for it. I want to share with you, you're going to see if you search on YouTube and you look up shoe storage boxes. I should have done that first before I even clicked on that ad on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, I'm going to put a picture of the ad and I'm going to put a picture of the ad in here and it shows in their video someone standing on these shoe boxes. They're so strong. It shows you opening up the door and the shoes come out on a tray. Shows you stacking them up against a wall. Shows a couple YouTubers here on YouTube uh, actually showing their boxes on their walls. Well, so I'm sitting there thinking, well, this looks like a U.S. based company. There's no address. There's no phone number, but at the bottom of the screen, it has 100% refund uh, or 100% satisfaction guarantee refund. It's verified. And then it also has at the bottom of the screen, no risk. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how do these scammers make money if they have 100% money back guarantee? Well, I thought I was protecting myself by purchasing this through PayPal. And so, cause you know, we always feel like customers going through PayPal is the safer route to go. And um, well, here's the thing, my boxes showed up. Uh, this is a shoe box. It is so flimsy, you can't, you can hardly get the doors on it. And this isn't at all the nice hard boxes that they showed on their video where someone was standing on top of one cause they're so sturdy. Um, and trays coming out of them. Look at this. This is what showed up. And they know what they're doing. They, here, I want to show you. I'm going I'm to keep watching. I'm going to show you how they make their money, even though they're doing 100% guarantee. So here's the lid. Look at how tiny this little thing is. And it's supposed to fit on here. These things, I mean, it's made out of a file folder. File folder. Look at how tiny this little door is. How many of your shoes are going to fit through that door? Okay, so this is the biggest piece of crap I've ever seen. So when I got it, I was quite upset. Contacted PayPal, told them that this is a scam and it's not at all what it was advertising. So they contacted this company and I'll even put the company name in here. There we go, right there. Um, they are still advertising on Facebook and you also see several other companies using different names but using the same advertising video. That means they're all in on the scam. Here's how they make their money. So I contacted PayPal, told them how upset I was about this. It was a scam. I showed them my pictures. I took uh, screenshots of the ad to show that it is nowhere near what the advertisement shows. And then on top of that, I also sent them a link. I sent PayPal the link. I found that YouTuber on YouTube that was in the ad. I went through YouTube. I typed up everything that had to do with shoes. I found that YouTuber. I'm not gonna share his name. Because I did put a comment on his video. Hey, I don't want to say his name. He's got a full beard. He's showing shoe boxes. You can figure that one out. I put a comment underneath this video to say, hey, wanted to give you a heads up. There's a company using your video for their ads. Now his video, he was advertising for the container store, not this company that I bought these, these piece of shoe boxes from. He was making a review of a whole different company. This company took his video and used it for their ad. So I gave him heads up, just wanted to let you know that um, your video is being used for an advertisement for a company that is doing a scam. He removed my, my comment from his video and didn't respond to me. So I don't know if he's involved, if he knew about it, if he got paid to borrow his video, or if he just doesn't want to deal with it. I don't know, but he did not respond to me. I was doing my due diligence to give him heads up. He did not do the due diligence or, you know, wasn't nice enough to respond back to let me know that he would check into it. So now fast forward to how they make their money. Okay, so PayPal contacted the company and the company responded. They sent some message about, it's a pity that you're not satisfied with this project or with this product. Okay, pity. Um, second of all, it says, uh, we will give you a full refund 
but you as a customer have to pay for the shipping back and to let you know the shipping cost is very high capital letters high so right there they're trying to discourage me from shipping it back so they uh, they said in return what we'll do for you is I spent two hundred eighty six dollars because I bought 40 of these boxes thinking that they were hard stiff nice boxes I spent hundred eighty six dollars silly me they responded back by saying they're gonna give me like a thirty seven dollar refund and I can keep these pieces of they didn't say pieces of they said I can keep the product um, so they said they gave me a $37 refund because at the cost of the customer to ship it back, the cost is very high in capital letters. Then they followed up with, if you decide not to accept our offer of $37 out of the 186 that I paid, um, if you decide you're not going to accept our offer and you do ship this product back to us, just letting you know that if it happens to not uh, show up at the right address, you get nothing. Okay, they already know it's not gonna be showing up at the right address. There's something about it. So, on my package, the return label said it was shipped from Chino, California, a P.O. box. So why don't I, why can't I ship it back to Chino, California? PayPal is making me ship it back to uh, Bang Jong, Bang, I can't even pronounce it. Um, Gongdong, China, Gongdong, China. They're having me ship it back to. And, um, I, and I have to supply a tracking number, which is fine. So then PayPal is making me ship this back to this company to China, not to California where it originated from, to China. And I take the risk that, and, and I have to provide PayPal with the tracking. But you know, if I ship those back to China, they're gonna say they never arrived. And I'm gonna offer tracking, but tracking is only gonna go probably to the China border and after that, there's gonna be no proof. So that's where the scam comes in. They know they're sending you a non-legit product. They know they're false advertising, but they $186, if you convert that to Chinese money, I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. Um, so you know that's where they're making their money. They are going to exhaust their resources with me in hopes that I don't return them and that I will accept a $37 refund for my $186 purchase. So that's how they're making the refund. So my comment to you all is to buyer beware. Those ads that are on Facebook of, you know, some of them you'll see these wigs and they're cutting the lace and they're real quick and women are flipping their hair up and it's just gorgeous. I know someone who's bought from there too and they got a carnival type wig. So those beautiful wigs, you know when they're priced at $19.99, you're not getting what's in the picture. So right now, you know, they're doing a lot of this false advertising. They're doing all the scamming because they know you're going to buy that product and you're going to spend the money. And then when it gets here, you're not going to be willing to pay the money to ship it back. And if you do, they're going to say it didn't arrive and they're not going to give you a refund. So we'll see what PayPal, I'll keep you posted to see if PayPal, you know, is truly protecting their buyers because I've already given PayPal all of the proof that this is a scam company and I will not not to sit there and say, okay, I'll take $37 for my $186 purchase. Um, they never said that they were an overseas company. They uh, used, um, in, in that ad, it was all American YouTubers that were in the videos. Um, I did have to do a lot of searching to find those YouTubers, but I did find them. And um, it's just complete false advertising. So I am doing this little PSA because I'm pissed off <laughs> that I wanted to let you guys know that's how they make their money. Just because the bottom of the screen says, or they read that, just because the bottom of that screen says 100% satisfaction guarantee, verified, no risk, don't get pulled into that. That is where they get you. That, that's where they got me. I thought it was a US company. I thought I wasn't taking any risk. I have a Converse collection that I wanted to house in those shoe boxes. And um, yeah, that's how they make their money. They send you junk. They tell you, and, and then they put in capital letters, the cost to mail this back is going to be high, all capital letters. If you return it and it doesn't come to the right address, you get nothing. So they already know. They're sending out junk and then they're making it difficult for anybody to return it. So people are gonna sit back and do it as a lesson learned 
and they've made all this money. So I'm just doing this little video to prove to you guys that all those ads that you see on Facebook um, for those shoe collection boxes, they're all using the same ad, so they're all the same company with different company names because they're all using the same ad. So you know, if you order those nice sturdy boxes, go to the container store. US based company, you can touch them, you can feel them, you can see them, you can go into the store. I should have done that. So this is a lesson learned. I got crook, I got scammed. That's all there is to it. So I'm just doing this little PSA to warn all of you so you don't get scammed like me. And if you know of anybody interested in those little shoebox ads that are showing up all over Facebook, let them know what I told you. Let them know that there's a way. They know they're scamming you, but they know you can't return it because of the cost to ship it back to China. And they turn around and say, if it doesn't arrive to the right address, that they give you nothing. Even if you have a tracking number, you have proof you've mailed it. So let's see PayPal. Are you gonna protect the buyers? I don't know. I'll keep you posted. Okay, well this is Amy with Fashion Toppings with my little rant about a scam going on on Facebook. So, and letting you also know that not all those ads that are popping up on Facebook that where you see videos of these really cool gadgets, do your due diligence. If there's no phone number in the US that you can contact them, um, then don't purchase. Um, if you can't, I mean, if you can go on, you, if they're, well, first of all, check their video out. That product, I didn't even notice until I got scammed. If you go through, that product isn't the same product throughout the video. When they show different clips from different people, it's a different product. It's a different type of shoe box throughout the video. You have to look closely to see that. So don't get scammed. Do your due diligence, find a phone number, make sure it's in the United States, and then you can decide if you're going to purchase. So hopefully I'm at least getting the word out there and not letting these scammers get away with this. Okay, well, until next time, I'll keep you updated to see if I do get my refund, and I am going to try to ship this back to that address in China, even though it was shipped out of Chino, California. We'll see. PayPal has no way for me to contact them back during this dispute, so... Okay, just give you a heads up. Don't push, purchase the shoe boxes, and we'll see if they let me keep this video up on YouTube. <laughs> All right, love and hugs, everybody, and do your due diligence, and be careful purchasing off those ads off Facebook.